We love new screwdrivers around here, and we've got a brand new set from Gear Wrench. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. We've got a brand new 20-piece screwdriver set from Gear Wrench Tools. This is the model number 80066H, and it's their new logo design, orange and black, dual material screwdriver set. Also, trilobe design. We'll take a closer look at these. They look really, really nice up close and from far away. So we're excited to put these in our gear wrench box and to see how well they do. So let's take a little closer look. Then we'll talk about price, warranty, and that sort of thing. This is the gear wrench 20 piece screwdriver set. The model number is the 80066 and H. And I believe the H is because of the actual uh, graphic on the, uh, the actual logo on the screwdriver. They had an older set as well with, with the red and black, but I think uh, the H designates this. But anyway, um, it's the 8066H. And I like buying my screwdriver sets in large uh, quantities like this. And the reason is I feel like you get more bang for your buck, um, but you have to watch out and see what you're getting in the kit and make sure there's not a lot of filler items. But the other reason is I'll, I'll get to in a moment as we start going through here. Now, what we have here is a dual material trilobe design. What does that mean? Well, trilobe is, is pretty self-explanatory. When you look down the body of the handle, you see that trilobe design. There's three lobes there, which I think fits very comfortable in the hand, uh, rather than, you know, kind of a, you know, a five point or a six point star kind of pattern, if you will. I like the trilobe. I think it fits in your palm well, fits, fits in your fingers well, and then it allows you to really get a grasp on the tool and it to be ergonomic and comfortable. Now there's only so much comfort in a screwdriver, I get it, uh, but the rubber over molding in here helps as well. So your orange is kind of that harder plastic and then the, the black is that rubber feel, that rubber over mold, and that's as well here on the grip where you can grip with your uh, thumb and forefinger is right there as well. Now, on the larger sizes here, uh, we have uh, the nut right here at the base so that if we need uh, some aid, then we can grab our crescent wrench or a wrench and actually grab onto there and then be able to add additional torque uh, to that fastener if we're needing to or to that screw. And again, that's on your top one, two, three, four, five, six sizes. So starting here does not have them. Now, when, you look, when we look at the handle sizes, looks like there's three different handle sizes. Looks like we have the larger ones, then the medium, and then the smaller ones. And then we have uh, the precision ones that are quite a bit smaller as well, and the stubby as well. Um, so a few different size of the handles, but for the most part, the larger ones have the larger handle, then it steps down to like a medium uh, for most of them, and then down in the, the precision handle as well. Something else pretty cool on this set is right here. Let me grab one of the bigger ones. Uh, on the actual shaft of the screwdriver is laser etched, not only the model number, but also the size of the screwdriver. So this says 5 16 by 6 inch. So 6 inch length and a 5 16 inch wide uh, tip on, on the blade here. Now these are magnetic as well. We have a black, black oxide hardened tip uh, to make sure that tip doesn't just wear away as we're uh, driving screws and also it's magnetic. So as we can see here on the Phillips tool, grab a screw here. And so there we see that magnetic tip being able to hold that screw with no problem. And looks like engagement is, is a nice tight fit as well. Of course, that's gonna depend on your fastener also, uh, but again, really like that uh, black oxide tip that's going to be a hardened finish as well as providing that magnetism for uh, for holding those screws while you're driving them or removing them do you know that it takes less muscles to smile than frown so why overwork it's true look it up and by the way would you think about subscribing to our channel back to the video and a pretty cool idea on the uh, the etching of the size in here even though uh, probably your most used ones, that laser etching will probably kind of fade away, but at the same time, if it is your most used ones, then you probably know what size it is anyway. And most of the people aren't really caring what size it is. Maybe if you needed to tell somebody to come get, get you a certain size screwdriver, they could. Now, we also get torques in these as well. 
So here's a number 15 Torx. Uh, so it says 15 by four inch, so a four inch shaft and uh, number 15 Torx. So pretty cool that in the screwdriver set, we also get uh, some of our common Torx size. It looks like 15, 20, and probably, uh, yeah, so our 15 and 20 in Torx. So that's two of your more common sizes in automotive applications. I know some, uh, some manufacturers like to use a 25 as well. But again, uh, that 15 and 20 covers a pretty wide range of automotive Torx fasteners. And then one thing I really like to see, and I was kind of commenting on this in the beginning, is that we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven precision screwdrivers in here. So typically when you buy a screwdriver set and then your sunglasses break or you need to tighten the screw on your sunglasses or, or you know, sm some small electronics, your screwdriver set doesn't have the you know, tiny uh, precision fasteners or precision screwdrivers to be able to tighten those screws. But now we have it right here. I mean, we're stepping down to very small blades in the, uh, in the straight slot or the standard, and then even down into the double zero as far as the Phillips size. So uh, really nice to have those precision screwdrivers and you even get a rotating top here so that you can easily put your pressure with your index finger and still rotate uh, that screwdriver. So really like to see that, that, that we've got precision screwdrivers in the mix of our screwdriver set. Again, to me, that adds tons of value to a screwdriver set because I'm not needing to go out and buy an additional uh, precision screwdriver set. And then we have our stubby in our straight slot and our stubby in our number two Phillips as well. So those are always very valuable to have in the kit. Now, GearWrench covers this by a lifetime warranty, pretty standard on all of their, uh, all of their hand tools. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I really like the trilobe design. I like the feel of it. Uh, I also like the, the size of the handle that they went with. Um, very comfortable in the hand in both the smaller tool and the larger one. The larger one's getting, that's, that's a pretty large handle there, but again, you're needing that additional torque when you step up to something that big also. Really nice set here from GearWrench. Um, pricing, you're looking at about 80 bucks for the 20 piece set. Uh, so, you know, not a cheap screwdriver set by any means, uh, but when you look at what people are paying for that higher tier screwdriver set, this is still a very good deal and you're getting that lifetime warranty and you can buy these off of Amazon. You can also buy them at some of the box stores as well. I think we're starting to see them in, in Home Depot. Uh, but anyway, been waiting to get this screwdriver set. Really excited to see it and glad to see that it really looks like it's gonna live up to the expectations that I thought about uh, when I actually saw these. I do wish they would have included a, a number 25 Torx in there uh, to kind of you know round out this set a little bit better. But, but again, I know the 15 and 20 are probably the most popular. Um, and then of course, you know, covering the gamut on the, on the rest of the, uh, the Phillips as well as the straight slot or your standard tip screwdrivers. And, and again, the precision, precision screwdrivers that are in the mix, I love to see that. So great job on this gear wrench, excited to use these. Okay, so I've got to say one thing. In between us filming kind of, you know, the features and using them a little bit, um, found out one big, big mistake, Gear Wrench. Come on, you're better than this. I know you are. Maybe it was on purpose, but who knows? So here we've got a number three Phillips, right? Used a little bit, but not a whole lot. So number three Phillips, six inch. Here we have a number one Phillips. Again, used a little bit, but not a whole lot, right? Six inch. We have a four inch number one Phillips. Again, used a little bit, but not a whole lot. We have a four inch number two Phillips used all the time. That's great. We got a short number two. There's no six inch. We don't have a long number two Phillips gear inch. Come on, you're better than this. We need a long number two Phillips in this kit. That's the only drawback I can see in this. Love the precision screwdrivers in there. I know I've kind of geeked out on that. I don't know why. It's not like I use them all the time. Actually, I use them more than I thought I ever would, but so I like to see that. Love to see the stubbies in there as well. Love the material on these, the tri-lobe design. I talked about that also. I just think that fits very comfortable in your hand. So these feel really nice. I really like the tips on them. They seem to engage, they seem to engage very well. Uh, 80 bucks for the set. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, I believe you could probably get them at Home Depot as well. Uh, so make sure you check those out. We'll have a link in the description on these. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. 
If you liked our video, then please subscribe to the channel and hit that like, thumbs up button. By all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling. Remember, it takes less work.